the bane of any parent who's ever had to find a costume, it's World Book Day. 25 years of World Book Day now. And I remember the very first one. I remember being so excited to hand out the £1 book vouchers, which are handed out to all British children. Now, World Book Day is a bit disrupted today by the um, NEU strikes. But we still need to think about what we're going to spend our £1 on. And I wanted to have a look at the books that have been produced to be sold for that £1 book voucher cost this year. There is a book in Welsh language and a book in Irish um, Gaelic that are only being sold in Wales and Ireland. Now, Life Size Creepy Crawlies is about Life Size Creepy Crawlies aimed at the younger market. It looks really interesting. Another book for the little ones is A Bedtime with the Burpee Bears by Joe Wicks, which I assume is about keeping fit. The real diversity of books this year and Billy's Bravery coming from the writer who brought us um, My Shadow is Purple and My Shadow is Pink. It's about a child wanting to dress up as his favourite uh, superhero. Illustrated by Nick Sherratt, You Choose Your Adventure is a celebration of imagination and um, childhood. Another theme in the um, World Book Day books is always the importance of reading. And I think that's what Dave Pigeon Bookshop Mayhem is doing. And another book celebrating the crossover between uh, film and book is Spider-Man, The Amazing Pocket Guide bringing him back, him back to the um, origins within the comics. And for the over eights, we've got Dragon's Realm Adventure, um, which is dragons! And we all love dragon stories by Katie and Kevin Sang. And for more fantasy, we're off to Struphadia, which is um, the world of the Strange Worlds Travel Agency. Gentle, light-hearted fantasy. And the next book we've got is a um, non-fiction, Brilliant Brains, looking at a real diverse mix of um, brilliant brains and diverse brains they are. Boot It, a book about football and fighting racism. I think that sounds like a really interesting real life story. From a book set in the real world to a non-fiction book about being in the real world, uh, being an ally. And I think this is very, very powerful for the, um, our time. And the last book we've got is One Stormy Night by Alma Jordan, which appears to be about living on a farm and dealing with life. It looks really interesting. So I had a look at the World Book Day um, website. There's lots of really um good resources to be used in the classroom to use the books there's competitions there's um, and there's more information about the one pound books um, I think it looks really really nicely put together actually um, and really accessible and it really is about what we um, encouraging children to make that start in their own um, book collection and getting access to books and that I think is one one thing that I've not seen before but this year uh, between the RNIB and Guide Dogs for the Blind um, they're producing books in children's preferred print size and um, in braille and in audiobook form so that children who have difficulty accessing print can have access to the books through World Book Day which I think is really exciting and new um, yeah they've um, the resources for um, schools are there uh, and it's just such a shame that the strike was today and um, but teachers are so important in children accessing and and being a part of the book world, I think we've got to accept that teachers need to be um, incentivized to stay in teaching. 
and to have good teachers and well qualified teachers. I mean, this is just me flicking through the um, website. I'm sure you'll want to take a little bit more time than I did. Um, the competition to design a national book token is really good. I think the World Book Day raised the profile of book tokens that I think had been kind of lost um, as gift cards for various shops became much more common. They've got a section for, for educators, for teachers, with resources at uh, all the phases. Um, you'll have, ha have a look through there, see what is useful to you. Um, and also resources for setting up book clubs. Um, and book clubs are, again, a really good way of getting children involved in literature and adults. I went to a, a book group for the very first time last night I was really something that I've wanted to do for so long and haven't had the opportunity to so I think that is something that really gives children a chance to read and it's such a powerful tool for adults starting to socialize and find new people uh, and then here I'm just scrolling through the um, one pound books which I've already talked about um, what really struck me this year is the diversity, the focus on books by uh, a range of writers, both male and female writers. There's fiction and non-fiction. There's a real um, ethnic diversity amongst both the writers and the characters in the books. And there's a sort of uh, focus on finding books that deal with those issues that are important to children. I really like the focus on um, both diversity and fighting for equality, where that fight is not seen as something placed on the, um, the minority person's shoulders, but on everyone's uh, responsibility to be an ally and to at uh, work to, for true equality and diversity. I think it's a really nice set of books. I'm really looking forward to being able to get hold of them and to have a good read. I mean, we've been doing this for 25 years. I've got quite a few years where I've bought a number of the one pound books. And so here are this year's I call them free books. They're not free. They're your one pound voucher, and you can use your one pound voucher to buy um, towards any book. And I've certainly um, done that with um, with my child over the years. But the, so that is my review. Very quick run through of this year's World Book Day books. I hope you had a lovely day today, and. If you've enjoyed what I've um, been talking about, please give me a like and a subscribe and a follow and a um, comment and a, well, just whatever. See you later. Bye.